Let's talk a little bit about complex numbers on the HP 15C. So first, to get into complex mode, there's two different methods. Uh, the first method, which I prefer, would be to enter in your real portion of your number. So let's say I enter in this A uh, complex number. So 1.2, hit enter, and then 4.7. So right now, in my stack, I have 4.7 in this X portion, and I have 1.2 in the Y portion. Now if I hit gold shift and then I, that changes it to a complex number, and it drops that, that real portion down into, this, into the X stack, so now I have 1.2, and it shifted this 4.7 over into a newly created imaginary stack. So I have 4.7 over in the re X register over there. So what it does is it creates a separate temporary stack of imagine, an imaginary stack, a separate stack, and you have your real stack. To see what's in the imaginary X register, then I would do shift and then swap between real and imaginary, and I can see my 4.7 over there. To temporarily see my imaginary number, I can push shift and this parenthesis, lowercase i. If I hold that down, then I can see the imaginary portion. If I release it, then it uh, disappears. Now I prefer the second method to seeing the imaginary portion this way because if I'm swapping back and forth here there's no indication as to whether I am in the imaginary stack or not. So if you forget, well, that, that could pose a problem. So I prefer just viewing the stack this way. Uh, to exit complex mode, <laughs> this is not intuitive, but you need to clear flag 8. Entering complex mode sets flag 8 to clear it, you do blue shift, CF for clear flag, and then 8. And now that imaginary stack has disappeared, and we only have our real number remaining here. So let's go ahead and enter a complex number and do a calculation. So like we had here, let's do 1.2. What we're going to do this z naught is the square root of a divided by b, where a is 1.2 plus j 4.7, and b is 2.7 plus j 3.2. So I've got 1.2. Let's do 4.7. Change that to a complex number. Then do 2.7. Enter. 3.2. Change that to a complex number. And again, you'll notice that the stack has dropped, so we have, in our real stack, we should have 2.7, and if I swap x and y, I'll have 1.2. And if I look over in the imaginary portion of the stack, then I'll have 3.2, and, well, 1.2, because it's, it's only swapping the x, and x values of the registers. So you're not really looking at the stack, you're just swapping the values in the x registers of the imaginary and um, real stacks. Okay, so 2.7, 1.2, we're good. So we got those two numbers. Now let's divide them and take the square root. So the answer should be approximately 1.05 plus j.24. And if I look at my imaginary portion, I have 0.24. So it looks like we performed the operation correctly. Now the 15C does expect rectangular for its complex numbers in rectangular format. So I've gone ahead and made a conversion here of our rectangular numbers into polar, and we'll enter those and see if we can come up with the same answer here. So I've gone ahead and cleared our complex mode, and we'll enter in these numbers. 4.85, 75.68, and let's change that into a complex number. But now we need to convert that to uh, rectangular. So I can do a gold shift, rectangular. You'll see I have 1.2 in my real portion of the stack, and if I look at the imaginary, I should have 4.7. So we've converted that to re rectangular. And let's add the second number. 4.2 and 
make a complex number. And now we convert that to rectangular. We should have 2.7 and our imaginary portion is 3.2. So let's divide those. And take the square root and our answer is 1.05 plus j 0.24.